Hi students, this is the class for grade 10. This is my third class, third class for you. In previous two classes, we have discussed about the photosynthesis, the process of photosynthesis. It is a process of plants, means autotrophs. We are going through the chapter of light processes and photosynthesis is the first part of light processes and uh, this is the second part that is nutrition it is related with the photosynthesis how i will say it but now this is the nutrition so what is nutrition now in first class i have said in photosynthesis the energy the source of energy that is the only one source in the world of source of energy that is the sun and sunlight what is sunlight and sunlight contain the photon particles and this photon particles is a physical energy which is converted into chemical energy in the process of photosynthesis and stored in food that is potential energy and we take food from plants or any kinds of animal that food in that food the energy is stored in the form of potential energy and when we take it then it's converted into kinetic energy it is a very uh, interesting that energy is converted from one to another and each and every life processes is involved with that because each and every living being the motto of each and every process is very similar and simple that to get the energy because without energy any life processes can't help so everyone every organism need energy and that energy come only source was sunlight it is converted when plants take it in the form of chemical energy and stored in food in the form of potential energy and we take food from plants then it come in the form of kinetic energy this conversion is known as the nutrition and the process by which the potential energy converted into kinetic energy that process is called nutrition so nutrition is the process to produce energy from the food that is called nutrition but nutrition have own steps how it produce energy actually the energy conversion actually energy conversion done in the process of respiration respiration is the process where the energy conversion means potential energy to kinetic energy occurs in the process of respiration but how we get it that steps are involved with the nutrition because food the potential energy stored in the food and that food is break down and processed and entered into the cell in the form of energy that is converted in the process of respiration then what is the nutrition nutrition is the process in which plants or animals able to get the energy from the food that produce energy that is known as nutrition nutrition actually have different steps if we get the plant nutrition there is mainly two steps first step is photosynthesis It is also called synthesis. 
means it is the stage of synthesis and second stage that is assimilation okay and in case of animals nutrition have five steps first step intake of food it is known as second step that is digestion third step that is absorption fourth step that is assimilation and fifth step that is egestion the first step also known as ingestion okay so this is the different steps but motto is same that assimilation assimilation also comes in plant and also comes in animals plants need not digestion and absorption because they food the food is made up by themselves that's why it is not required for them so in short nutrition firstly nutrition is the process by which plants or animals gets their energy from food by the different processes like synthesis or assimilation in case of plant and ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion in animal and get the energy by which they are able to process the different metabolic activity that process is called nutrition okay it is the process of nutrition individually the we will discuss what is ingestion what is digestion what is absorption what is assimilation and what is egestion and plant nutrition we have already says what is photosynthesis and assimilation so first of all plant nutrition photosynthesis what is synthesis we have already know in class or last class photosynthesis means by the process the process by which plants prepare their own food by the help of carbon dioxide and sunlight in presence of chlorophyll that is and produce the glucose that is known as photosynthesis and the next step that is assimilation means the food which is prepared by plant that is entered into the cell each and every cell present in a plant get the food that process is known as assimilation and in case of animal nutrition there is the first step that is intake of food means the animals take food from plants or other animals they take it so that process is known as intake of food or uptake of food that is known as ingestion in second step that is digestion digestion means the uptake of food uptake of food digested by activity of different kinds of enzymes different kinds of enzymes and produce the desired material which they can absorb that like food is mainly have three part protein lipid and carbohydrate protein carbohydrate break into glucose lipid break down into fatty acid and protein break down into amino acid and in this three type of form any kinds of animal uptake their food into the blood okay 
So this is the process of digestion. I repeat the digestion. Digestion is the process in which animals uptake the uptaken food is break down by the activity of different kinds of enzymes and produce the desired material like glucose, fatty acid and amino acid and that process <coughs> is called digestion. And what is absorption? Now the desired material like glucose, fatty acid and amino acid absorbed in the small intestine. When we will discuss about the process of digestion, there you can get where the digestive system of an animal there is a part of small intestine there have some finger like projection which absorb the glucose fatty acid and amino acid that is absorbed and mixed with the blood that process is known as absorption and assimilation now blood carry the whole materials these materials glucose fatty acid amino acid which is absorbed that absorbed food materials is uh, taken by the blood and reached to the cell. When it is enters into the cell, that process is known as assimilation. Assimilation means enters into the cell. And what is irrigation? Now, after the digestion, the rest part which is absorbed, that is our requirement. And which is undigested part means that is not required for our body, that is thrown outside the body by the process of irrigation. So this is the five steps of nutrition. We will discuss the human digestive digestion process and uh, in further classes. So for today's class, the process of nutrition, nutrition, what is nutrition? The questions, uh, please note down the questions. First question that is what is nutrition? How many types of nutrition are there? Plant nutrition, the states of plant nutrition and the states of animal nutrition. I repeat the answers. Plant nutrition is very easy. So I just repeat the animal nutrition. Animal nutrition have five steps. That is ingestion means to uptake the food. The digestion, the uptake and food break down by the Enzymes that is digestion. What is absorption? After the digestion, the produced food particles like glucose, amino acid that is absorbed from small intestine and mixed in the blood that is absorption. And when the absorption occurs, after the absorption, the blood carry that food materials and enters into the cell that is assimilation. And the after the assimilation the required part of the food is taken by the process of absorption and assimilation and the rest part that is thrown out from the body that process is known as irrigation. So the five steps of animal nutrition, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and irrigation. Okay, so this is the part for today's class. In next class, we will discuss about the different types of nutrition like plant nutrition and animal nutrition and process of human nutrition separately.